Hello survivors and welcome to episode 7 of our Overlord series. In today's episode we are playing the Sentinel and I was looking at the skills and I was thinking you know it would have really been cool to have played with Cluster Bomb and it says that the damage is multiplied based off of your crit damage chance. Now the problem is we have no way of getting form onto the Sentinel. The only way would be with skills that provide form or the ways uh, like resilience to form. Now unfortunately none of the skills that the Sentinel has is going to give us resilience nor are they going to give us form. So I'm thinking we're going to go and try and play with Rain of Arrows and see what that's do, uh, like. Uh, we do damage per stack of uh, aptitude on our character and since most of our skills are aptitude based we're going to be playing with that. So we're actually going to start with I believe Noxious Shot and venomous volley and then we'll try get things like uh, maybe obscure arrow a snap shot will be really good a rain of arrows i don't want to start with his first weapon because i still believe shoot is really bad but i haven't played it in the new patch so we'll take a look at that but we're going to focus on aptitude skills and then a lot of cast frequency to get that aptitude really high to make rain of arrows do a lot of damage so we're going to start with the weapon uh let's see over here they both got negative multicast that's got more crit uh and this has got more damage uh da, 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 da. yeah we'll do the uh, noxious shot to start off with and then we'll start to work on there from that so with regards to our runes, we've got Weapon Expert, Endless Refill, Unexpected Arsenal, Multicast Mastery, Synergetic, Divine Legacy, and Sure-Footed. Let's see how this goes. I have no idea how far we're going to get. There's no defenses here. We're trying something that is going to be really, really hectic uh, for the character. But at least in the beginning, the poison is going to be pretty good for us, at least to clear things out. So we're in a good spot there. I don't know, they they they, they nuked a uh, noxious shot though, no longer applying the damage from uh, stacks of poison, so it's not as good as it was, but Venomous Volley is still very very good, and we need to get those stacks of amplitude, I mean aptitude, and we will obviously get ourselves to at least 100% crit chance as well somehow. Also change to the Sentinel, as you can see it shows you now where the Panther is, and then again, if you start to, you know, uh, tame it, of course, it will always run to the beginning, uh, the, the, the middle of the map or where the portals spawn. Should be very easy to get a lot of aptitude as long as we are on our panther. So getting a lot of uh, upgrades that affect the actual panther is going to be very good for us. So we need the, the, <laughs> we need the, the crit as well. So we're going to grab that. We could go Doom, but if we do do Doom, it's going to give us a lot of passives that we don't want. We aren't planning on staying with Poison necessarily, but the weapon is very good as well. Not getting any aptitude over here. He has a skill that gives us aptitude. That's fine. We're not going to grab that, so we'll grab the Laugh. Reduce the time necessary to tame the Panther. Can be very good for us. A Ricochet Shot, more aptitude and piercing as well. I don't know. We need the Rain of Arrows. Of course, that's going to be our main skill and the main damage that we do but also getting a reduced cooldown on our panther and things like that is going to help as well let's go we got ourselves a lot of dodges you could go war tank but i'm not feeling like i'm going to land up getting a lot of uh block this run so we didn't even bother with it we're just going to try and be fast enough to dodge absolutely everything without worrying about blocking <clears throat> okay so now every time we have a skill type of nature we're getting increased crit chance so that's fine maybe we could have gone with that but it says your crit chance not the skills crit chance so that could be a reason why we don't get it here spread shot it applies dazed and aptitude uh, which is pretty good more crit chance and we're off our panther now so we've got to be a bit more careful we could draw this out time wise just to take a little bit longer so that we can get our panther back before we fight the first set of bosses because we will need to be on it i believe to to do the most amount of damage to them as possible and until we find a rain of arrows i think we are going to be in a bit of problem 
a bit of trouble. That cast frequency, again, going to be very, very important over here. Uh, do we want this fire shadow be projectiles towards random enemies? No. Shoot gives us that. We do want snap shots. It is a very, very strong skill. We don't want that. We want uh, lethality over here and the cast frequency, but we'll wait for the cast frequency to be a little bit higher. And let's see what we can get. Uh, here's, oh, there we go. There's our rain of arrows. I might want obscure arrow as well. What is the cool that? Yeah, we'll go obscure arrow as well instead of venomous volley. Again, we uh, we only want the skills that are going to provide us with aptitude. And then we've also got uh, the, the skills that are going to be doing. Oh, that's such a low cooldown though, 0 0.6. Maybe snapshot isn't needed. Let's try without snapshot and see how it goes and see what we can do from there first. Luckily, Sentinel has a lot of, uh, uh, what's the word, dashing. So we, we're pretty safe. The only reason I don't like shoots is it's like a shotgun. It doesn't really go through any enemies. So we have to kind of be careful there. But here we go, now we just got to stay by the enemies, make sure we're actually hitting them. Having all these ricochet shots and things like that won't necessarily be good for us, but as long as we keep getting the cooldown, we should be fine. Uh, we don't need, well, I'll keep the skills because maybe there's something better out there. But there's some cast frequency, we do get aptitude to prowess, which is going to give us some damage. We've also got some other things that we can get as projectile to nature. That's going to allow us to get even more aptitude by doing that. Multicast is more. We don't want the doom. A crit on a hit is perfect as well. Because that's going to let us get the bosses out faster. Alright, first wave is nearly down. We almost off of our panther as well. So that's not good for us. But at least we've nearly killed them all. And it hasn't really been difficult, you can see. We do, I don't know if there's a way to get like Rain of Arrows to land up on these bosses all of the times, but if we can get that, that would work perfectly. But there we go, Panther just ended, all the bosses are dead. There is a, uh, what do we call these again, the pa Pillar of Protection over here that we do need to kind of get rid of. As you can see, we deal a decent amount of damage already. We do have Poison still, which is going to be helpful for us. Another legendary skill chain, that is fantastic. As you can see, we do get a lot of multicasts from these. Uh, I don't know if I want the multi, oh, actually we do want that multicast, definitely. But otherwise getting a, a basic multicast is gonna be better. I don't know what to do here. For this one, we'll just grab that and this. Uh, I think we will land up getting a lot more in the future, but uh, for now, those should be fine. We are going to get the movement speed a bit. Reduce time necessary for the panther to appear. That is very good to have. Uh, and then getting things like... Uh, we don't really want damage. But if we do get the damage on everything, that's going to help with the damage to rain of arrows. So we grab that. Movement speed again. Um, damage, of course, does help. But again, we are trying to focus the most on cast frequency and multicast. So we can get those beautiful stacks on our uh, aptitude so that our rain of arrows is going to do the most amount of damage possible so that's the whole point of this build and let's see if it works i have no idea if it's going to work or not but what else is really nice is i believe rain of arrows that used to so uh, they got rid of it so it, it would have been nice in the old days uh, rain of arrows used to stun enemies so as long as you were hitting them they would get knocked down it just didn't stun elites and things like that but it used to be quite a safe play because you were stunning things. So over here, cast frequency, go for the crit. Uh, area of effect doesn't really work on any of these. I mean, it works on the Shrek Crumb. It will work on spread shots and things like that. Uh, do we need it? I think the 10% increased uh, damage over here to everything will be a lot better for us. Then there's more cast frequency, a massive legendary damage, cast frequency, and some more damage over there. So uh, that's just my options. You know, if you wanted the area of effect, you guys, you could grab it. But because it's not affecting rain of arrows, which again is our main damaging skill, or at least that's what I'm hoping uh, for when we hit the end of this, uh, it makes sense to not really necessarily worry about the range that isn't going to affect it and go for other skills that will be more beneficial to the skill that we're using. So that's my thought on it. 
you can always let me know down in the comment section what you guys think whether uh, the call I made is better or not or if you think maybe uh, you know broken you should have done this or that instead uh, that would have given more damage but you know I don't I don't see how it would have if the area of effect affected our actual skill um, then we would have taken it but because it doesn't I didn't see a point in grabbing it all right bosses died that wasn't too bad look it's not the fastest run that we're gonna have but it's definitely out there multicast skill another swift uh we might go see the multicast again for missile so we've got everything missile except for this we might look at going for other things over here so the multicast is a nice one to grab and then the expansive is also very good to grab so we're going to grab both of them over there we do want this one there as well and there we go fantastic destroy that and then we can just sit in this corner over here we are going to wait for the panther to come back alive uh, we do have reduced time for it and also reduced time to get onto it and then you can see the poison doing a fantastic job just spreading through all of the enemies killing everything uh, as quickly as possible for us so that's going to be very good for the overlord cycles and getting us a little bit further at least i think it would be all right fantastic there's not really much visually that we need to see here so we're just going to drop that down a little bit and chill in our corner while we wait for the bosses i don't know if we still need to auto aim with projectiles every so often but as long as we keep getting aptitude, which we are, as you can see, we're getting quite a bit of it. Uh, damage over there, cost frequency, cost frequency. Area of effect, finally, for physical, also the damage over there. Those are fantastic. Oof, I thought I didn't lock it or something happened over there. We didn't lock the multicast. It's not really the end of the world. Um, being how we are is going to be fun. You can see we have a whack ton of multicast. Uh, so I mean a crit damage now as well we're sitting on 1000 crit damage which means that we are going to be doing a lot more damage with rain of arrows and with the increased multicast as well as damage that we just got you can see the boss says die a lot quicker so as long as I think we have our uh, panther I think we're going to be in a good place need to get powerful enough that we don't need the panther though because as soon as the overlord cycle starts especially like overlord 6 we will be killing things the bosses will spawn and the panther won't be available just yet so we do need to just be careful about that and wary of it you can see the area of effect of the uh, bladed chakram definitely visible now much much easier to see that that is the bladed chakram and what it does got to be careful of these arcane rifts that we we don't want to be stepping in and we do have the panther where did he go oh he's up there so let's get onto the panther first and then we'll destroy the blue color of protection if you do struggle to see them because of let's say you're playing in colorblind mode or whatever the case may be you don't necessarily have to play on the hardest difficulty you don't gain anything from it more than just like self gratitude so turn off the pillars of protection and the pillars of despair you really don't need them on you can turn off the uh the chicky that follows you as well that's fine as well uh the void presence the chicky that follows you <laughs> uh goodness gracious all right so reduce the time necessary to tame the panther no we need it to spawn faster there we go reduce the amount of time it takes for it to spawn and then we should be in a good spot i think there is another i don't know what the rare one does i think it has something to do with uh, just dealing damage or uh cast frequency while you're on it or multicast maybe i'm not 100 percent sure maybe you stay on it longer that would be a cool one increase the duration Luckily, we do have a lot of dodges, so we aren't too worried about what's happening in front of us or around us. Kill that Chaos Bringer. Kill them all. Okay, let's just use our levels. Reduce the time. Okay, we'll do that. Skills. A little bit of movement speed and cast frequency. Oh, 
Come on, where's the Reign of Arrows? We need more cooldown on the Reign of Arrows skill. So there we go. Eight and a half minutes. It's taking a really long time. Ooh, I didn't even see the panther spawned. Maybe we should have left him because now we, we have to struggle to, to get him up before the, the next boss part. So maybe that wasn't the best idea. At least we can destroy turrets and that very quickly. Some builds we really struggle to do that even. Just going to grab the green crystal now. Just to pick up all that juicy XP that we otherwise would have left. Man, it's just such bad timing as we go and get that up and running. Okay, we can actually re-roll this and grab more crits. Here's a damage modifier for frontal. Again, not frontal. So unfortunately, the skills that you land up getting uh, don't really share the same tags as Reign of Arrows. So you can't get a lot of really good upgrades for it. At least that's what I'm getting at over here. We also haven't seen any more skill chains since we saw them in the beginning, so we, we're getting really unlucky with that as well. But at least we're at a good spot, so we'll see how this runs uh, into Heart Overlord. Uh, hopefully we can at least do something there, but uh, we should be okay. Okay, there's a multicast for the skill. Ow! Okay, where are you, Panther? Let's get back onto you. Don't really want to dart or anything, so if we can just kill them, that would be fantastic. Don't have to worry about him because he's using his skill behind a wall, which means that it doesn't do anything to us. And there we go. All right, so 10 minutes, 48 seconds. That's really slow, but just like every other time, well, let's just first see what's happening. So Reign of Arrows is doing its job. Uh, quite a lot of damage coming out over there. Let's keep going. Let's see just how well we can do this. Um, we did have a bug previously with the panther and the uh, being on it while you were in it so it was causing difficulties but we'll see you at a higher overlord and let's get straight to that but we are heading into overlord cycle 4 over here we did change up the build uh, i know that we said we were going to get rid of venomous volley for the fact to get more of our aptitude but it turns out because we had five projectile skills and no other synergies we weren't getting any of the skill chains nor were we getting any of these uh uh, synergy power-ups like reinforced projectiles or the poison one wherever it may be somewhere in this list uh, maybe if we do that we can see uh, we got some uh, devastating strikes as well for aptitude to prowess uh, more skill chains but there uh, more skill chain over there there we go force of nature so that's from nature to projectile uh, or in this fact nature to non-nature and then we've got projectile to non-projectile so at least you know the noxious shot as well as venomous valley and all of the other skills are getting more stats than they otherwise would and that's going to give us a lot easier of a chance to get the uh, aptitude that we need for the skill now venomous valley i've had for maybe one overlord cycle now and you can see already it is catching up in damage to rain of arrows uh, which is completely ridiculous uh, in damage and we also did get the rare version of the nature's guardian which is increased duration which we spoke about so with that change and we just got command made by the prophetess right at the end of here and we lost a life so that's why we're doing a chair not at the end of cycle four we'll probably only make it to number five if we're lucky otherwise we'll probably get a nasty hit over here but that was my mistake uh, in the build we probably could have gone further and we'll have to revisit this one if it doesn't make it like we will for the chaos knight uh, at the end of the series i mean the chaos knight one was just a flop because of the ruins but we could probably get a lot further with him he is quite a strong character so 
uh, we did learn things from that the same as how we've learned things from this uh, you know make sure you've actually got your your synergies up there and running because you can actually see just how ridiculous it is on the screen uh, YouTube uh, uh, you know the the encoder is not going to love this at all we can actually reduce the visibility down it's not going to stop venomous volleys blue circles so if you do have light sensitivity please just note that maybe just listen to my voice and the music and not really necessarily watch this or watch it from very far away or something what you're going to be able to do because all of these blue squares can i mean circles can be quite uh, hectic on the eyes so just keep that in mind while you are you know viewing this content uh, let's see, we've got 11 skill points. We can increase the duration again, get more skill points. Uh, we do want more, do we want more crit chance on these? It is only on these, we're on 144. It doesn't really matter if they crit too much. So cast frequency, crit chance on the non-nature ones is probably better. But you know, since it's giving it there to us, we might as well grab it. Uh, rotting is very, very good over here because we are applying a whack ton of poison. So that's gonna make a lot of sense cast frequency and increase the damage from our poison so that's probably going to help us a lot of here i didn't really want to do a poison build but that's pretty much what it turned into and it just kind of led to a okay well that's actually how we have to play this and as you can see <laughs> even with dodging we actually died over there so uh, that was a bit of an unfortunate one uh, it was a mistake on my behalf but you can see venomous Valley really doing well over there not all characters are the same unfortunately this is one of them the fact that we got to overlord 4 surprised me i really thought i was going to die a lot sooner but you can see the damage 29.2 billion damage total with 30.1 from you know and look at the the time difference so if we had venomous Valley from the very beginning we would have been doing a lot more damage I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And always remember, keep safe survivors. Until next time, cheers.